and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap ludes and today we're going to be doing a little gameplay with the pink diamond manu ginobili idol card six foot six 205 pretty solid um solid stats 88 3 only a 70 driving dunk but do you expect my man manu with his bald spot to be dunking you're out of your fucking mind other than that, solid badges, mostly finishing and footwork badges. He does have gold catch and shoot, difficult shots, dimer, um, tight handles, hot zone hunter, floor general, which is actually a super clutch. Um, silver dead eye, only bronze clamps. No worries, you can always upgrade that later. Um, the problem is he does not have flexible release. That actually hurts his card a lot. Flexible release is a very important badge, but we're going to see if that makes so much of a difference. Also got the goat. Amethyst Kristoff Przingis, who I promise you is fake. So let's head to shoot around real quick. Uh, Main is kind of slow. He's got a silky smooth release, though. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, Ginobili's always had kind of a decent release in 2K. This is no different. Um, got that lefty shot, too, which is going to throw off defenders to a little, you know, a little bit of an extent. Unless people know anything about Manu when they actually play the game, then you're kind of fucked. But decent jump shot. Um, his runner is kind of meh uh, it's not like alan houston or mitch richmond's runner um he's kind of got more of a stale kind of easier to contest runner which kind of sucks but uh, more of a traditional i think he's got like the normal leaner but other than that his jump shot is really good he's going to operate more as a spot up shooter he's not going to be crazy good at creating his own shot at least from what i can tell just from shooting around with him um, i could be wrong he does have good driving badges and stuff like that so all right, that was just fucking atrocious. Um, that being said, without that flexible release, it is a little bit harder to time on uh, jump shots with the shot stick. Um, and I'm guessing it's going to be a little harder to hit whites with the button as well because of that. So if you do have flexible release badges, which in all of my videos I've been saying to go buy up as many flexible release badges as humanly possible. Because it's only a matter of time before people figure out how important that actual badge is at this stage in the game he has everything else you need difficult shots hot zone hunter um i don't think he has range but he might have range i'm not sure i don't think so though either way you can go scoop that up um, apply a better clamps badge to him and a couple other defensive badges and you're gonna have a really really nice card is he going to be worth the exorbitant price we'll see let's check his dribble moves uh, decent behind the back nothing crazy uh good good tween though um, nice dunk, pretty normal dunk package. So, we're going to be playing against Dame, fucking free agent Clyde Drexler. Oh, man. I played against a squad that was um, eight free agents earlier and two regular players that were just Kobe and Shaq, the starter guys. It was the most frustrating game I've like ever played. Uh, that guy kind of actually knew what he was doing, too, but then also it was just a sweat. But we should be able to take this. My team is significantly better than his. Um, hopefully he's not a button shooter, because if he is, he's going to have problems with Bill Lambeer. But I'm guessing he's not, being that he's using them. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, I get XP for playing 20 minutes with Luis Scola. All right, let's go. Big stops. Chris Stops is actually incredible. Like, I'm not even kidding. He's probably the best offensive center that we have in this game right now. Uh, let's see what's up. Hit, it, hit my man Manu. Runner. Ah, 68% coverage. That was good defense on him. Um, Clyde Drexler has a lot of defensive badges too, so it's kind of going to be a pain in the ass. So we'll see what's up. But Manu so far, he feels really smooth. Let's run a 21 delay real quick, get some dudes open. Eventually he's going to, yep, leave Manu in the corner. Should have shot that, but I figured he was going to jump the read, which he didn't. But I'll shoot my favorite shot in the world. Splash. Bloop. Dunzo. All right, Manu's got those on deck. His hot zones are all on the right side of the floor. So you're going to want to shoot runners in that way mostly, um, which if anybody knows Manu's hot, jo hot zones, is going to be easier to defend him. So definitely study his hot or study his hot zones because if you run into him on unlimited, you know which way to actually force him. Ooh, nice drive, center release, and the foul. Let's check his free throw real quick, see if it's uh, decent. All right, bro, you're going to give me the ball or what? Okay. Dude, his bald spot is incredible. Look, 2K can't get the game right, but they can absolutely get a realistic bald spot going. I'll give him credit where credit's due. All right, Isaiah, tough D. There we go. Mar Odom with the board. There we go, Manu. Come through right now. Clyde Drexler had to hack my man Manu because he knew what was about to happen. He knew the runner was coming through. All right. 
give it to Manu real quick. Alright. Yep. Splash. Alright. Manu Ginobili's jump shot is absolutely incredible. Like, it's, it's absurd. It's super nice. And I haven't even done button timing yet. And I'm pretty sure his button timing jump shot is going to be good, too. He's just got one of those releases, you can tell. Uh, Alright. Gonna do a little Manu double team. Get out the way, dude. There we go. Splash down. You can't stop me, dude. I'm not even in hot zones right now. So Manu's got 10 points. Um, keeping it alive. My man called timeout already. He knows the thunder's coming. Uh, uh, are we gonna have one of those timeout sweats that just sits there and runs the entire timeout down? I've been running into those a lot, and uh, I gotta say, probably the most annoying thing that anyone can do in 2K is to just call all their timeouts and wait the entire 60 seconds. All right, my man's cool. He's not doing that. Now you got Pascal Siakam in. Does so he want this smoke too? All right, fine. Let him have it. Lamar Odom patrolling the paint. Nice shot by Dame Lillard. I'll give him credit on that. Give it to IT. You know you're not touching the ball, Isaiah. You're here for defense exclusively. Oh. Ooh. He bit on that one. Should have shot it. Ooh. Yeah, he's he's swarming Manu right now. I need to, like, relax on that. I should have kicked it out. But, honestly, I was just feeling the wet balls too much on that one. Mitch Richmond, Bricks. Yep. Get out of here. All right. Really, Lamar? I'm just going to smack it out of bounds? Okay. That's cool. We're up 10 to 5. Um... I'm, tip I'm not really playing wonderful right now. Give it over to Larry, over to Kristaps, okay. Once again, give it over to Manu, who's gonna run back and hit this. Ooh, I like his leaner. All right, I should say his fadeaway, his running fadeaway. I like that a lot, actually. He's got a really easy one to time. That's that's good. Um, so his mid-range fadeaway is very easy to time. That's, that's pretty huge, because honestly, that's one of the most effective shots in this game. Uh, all right, I feel like I should have made that. That was just bad timing on my part. He's got a nice layout package, too. Um, a lot of finger rolls and stuff like that. Kind of hard to defend, so. He is going to be a really good shooting guard in this game for a little while. I think he'll get overtaken pretty quick, because I am assuming we'll get in, like, a T-Mac here pretty soon. Wet. All right, well, I got 15 points with Manu in uh, the first f three minutes of the game. Shooting six for nine with him. Pretty solid. Uh, nice shot by Drexler. Nope, he missed it. Okay, cool. Uh, Pascal with the gross rebound that Lamar Odom just slapped into his hands for whatever reason. All right. Ooh, we're pressing now. Okay. Back to my boy Manu. Let's run this. Where are we going? Where are we going? All right, so he knows. He's switching a lot. I should have just shot that. That was gross. Hit over Larry. Hit that jump shot. Oh, uh, Lamar with the board. That was just bad. I should not have put I should not have put that up. This is a Manu Ginobili gameplay. What am I doing trying to chuck? Nice fucking steal okay that was supposed to be a layup but that's cool jump shot i guess it's fine oh man it was wide open i should just damn it that's fine chris tops he's huge in the paint and he's fast dude chris tops is going to be a fucking problem like i'm not even kidding he's going to be a huge problem in this game uh let's see what's up i think i should be able to use chris tops and manu and, and yeah I think I'll be able to use him in limited. And we got a rage quit. Nice. All right. My man knew that I was playing bad and still killing him with Manu. So he knew what's up. Um, honestly, Manu Ginobili is actually really good. I didn't think he was going to be that good. But his jump shot is incredibly, incredibly smooth. He has decent dribble moves and nice layup package. He has that incredibly, incredibly easy to time. Um fade away that's absolutely absurdly good so it's one of those things but is manu worth it um not probably for the price but either way thanks for watching the video i appreciate it i hope this helped you out a little bit um have a good one